a shelter for wildlife, an essential source of irrigation for farmers and water for nearby rivers, and a tourist destination. Lake Montbel spans 1,400 acres of southwest France in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Yet, after the driest winter in more than 60 years, it is only a shell of what it once was. Current views of Lake Montbel are more like to what might be expected at the conclusion of a sweltering summer. Reduced water levels, grounded boats, buoys laying on the cracked dirt of the lake bed. Not when winter is nearly over. Water levels are currently less than half of what they typically are at this time of year, at roughly 28% of their capacity. Winter has not been kind to many regions of Europe, yet in the United States, the snow and rain that have hammered California have helped fill reservoirs and ease an enduring drought. Parts of the continent have had such low amounts of snow and rain that fears are increasing for what might be in store as summer comes, and beyond. The continent is still recovering from last year's scorching summer and the worst drought in 500 years. The longest streak of dry weather since records began in 1959 occurred in France between January and February, when there were more than 30 days in a row without any appreciable rainfall. Also, there hasn't been much snowfall, which results in less snowmelt to refuel rivers in the spring. The situation does not look good as summer approaches. Over 400 local governments in the area restricted or altered drinking water sources last year. 